Hey, we made it to the end. This is the finished product, the fruits of our labor. 10 videos to get to this point. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. <laughs> Here we go. This is the companion piece to the ATT diorama, ATTE diorama that I made and showed you at the live stream. And then over the last week, I walked you through all the different steps on how to achieve similar results. And I think we came pretty close. You know, the thing about making something by hand is every time you do it, it's gonna have a little bit of a different signature to it. It's gonna be just the slightest difference. But I think overall, they're pretty convincing. They're pretty good companion pieces. I came pretty close to the mark. The last thing I did on this one, at the end of video 10, I told you there was one more step. And that last step is just to very, very lightly take the paprika and just dust the top of it here and there. And what it does is it provides just a little bit of heat at the very end. And then I just sprayed it with a matte coat of, of matte finish, like a Tamaya matte spray or any sort of matte spray. Oh, Yoda fell down. And what that does, kind of like in this one over here, on top of that weathering, it just gives a little bit of that geonosis heat. It makes it look like maybe there's a little bit more heat on that planet, you know? And uh, it just kind of makes it pop at the very end. I showed you how to do that live edge with the weathering powders, and I think it really makes for a very nice finish, a very professional looking finish. I showed you how to uh, take the glue and or the Mod Podge and seal everything. We talked about how to make rocks out of toilet paper and glue. We talked about how to use uh, Raid, your, your uh, spice rack to get paprika and lemon peel for the rocks and the texture. We talked about uh, raiding your significant other's uh, makeup kit and get a get a brush, get one of those mascara brushes for the weathering. And as you can see, the weathering comes out. I think it comes out real nice. It really, it really finishes the deal, and it's very consistent with these rocks over here. And of course, every time you do something by hand, there's going to be a little bit of variation. But that's what makes it special. That's what makes it handmade, and I guess you could call it a piece of art. But uh, I really thought this gunship complemented this piece nicely. And by the way, those are just a couple of sewing pins with those little plastic balls on the top. And that's uh, a nice way to suspend or to make a ship look like it's hovering. I mean, you're never going to get rid of the, of the display's uh, structure, you know, uh, completely. But I think that does a nice job. And uh, the other thing about it is those sewing pins are so small, you're never going to see any sort of holes in the diorama if you decide to move them. And it's also, you can, you can place them anywhere. I decided to put Yoda's ship over here just to sort of give it a little bit of extra uh, dimension and so that you can kind of understand the scale and the size and what you're able to do with these things. And uh, of course, apparently Yoda took one to the head or something because he's, he's dead over there, but uh, you get the point. But thank you so much for following along. I hope maybe I was able to uh, give you a few hints and tips along the way. Stay tuned. We're going to have another diorama next week that I've already started construction on. And the format being, I'm going to finish the diorama, and I'm going to present you the finished thing, and then we're going to go back and construct it together. Kind of like what we did here. We're going to present a finished one, and then we're going to walk through the steps of making it. See how close we get. Okay? The next one is intended to be more of a swamp or a marsh with water features. Standing water, almost like swamp water, with... Uh, large tall grasses now it's intended i'm gonna i'm gonna use gi joe as the basis for that particular diorama it's but like anything none of these are exactly star wars or exclusively for star wars or exclusively for gi joe but uh so even while i'm going to use gi joe figures uh, for the gi joe side of things i think uh if you're a star wars fan or a turtles fan or any other type of figure fan i think you'll find that the diorama will apply to uh, whatever whatever type of, uh, uh, you know, whatever franchise you're into, it'll be the same type of process and work for any of those figures as well. So uh, we will revisit Geonosis again in the future. I've been working on some, some of those Geonosis spires, and uh, as soon as I get one that I really like, I will share the build process with you. Uh, I've got a couple, uh, a couple that I'm sort of happy with, but I'd like to make some improvements on them. So, as always, thank you so much for looking. I hope that this was not a disappointment. I hope that you uh, enjoyed the series. I hope you like the outcome. 
Uh, you can do better than me. I promise you. I've given you all the tools, and uh, I would love to see what you can create. Thanks so much. And uh, hey, uh, Stoned, it's your turn, man. It's your turn. I challenge you. I'm, uh, I'm looking at you, Stoned. And uh, for the rest of you as well, uh, a lot of my uh, my constant uh, my constant uh, viewers, uh, Timbo Toys, uh, Why So Serious, uh, uh, Brian, uh, I'd love to see what you guys can do as well. So uh, give it a shot and let me know how it goes. Take care.